I'm going to be showing you how to flash the Android 12 port on this particular device. And this is the beta one, by the way, as you are seeing here, the file size is about 1.86 GB and the build date here is 21st May 2021. And before you proceed, I would say do everything on your own risk because this is a beta build and it might break something and some things might not work. So if your Redmi Note 7 Pro is a daily driver device, maybe you should not go for this. But if you just want to test the Android 12, how it tastes or something like that, you can definitely try it. So the title here is factory image of pixel and the beta one. Here we have the all new with Android 12 beta and stuff. And we have the added Google photos, music player, etc. Improved performance and many more things it says in the changelog. And as you can see, there are some recommended G cams over here. Snapcam, Arnova, Nikita G cam, etc. Now here we have the flashing instructions and there we have clean flash is always recommended of course and if you have a SD card I would say take it out and here also it's mentioned and we have the wipe usual stuff then we have install latest format then flash ROM and flash fcrypt v3 I'll list the fcrypt v3 in the description box below too and all the important files and then you can just reboot after doing that and you can separately install magis kpk later so yeah and we have some known bugs screencast is not working the haptics or the haptic feedbacks i guess they are not working either and we do not have any major bugs it says over here this is a still uh, early build so it might have some bugs by the way guys i am on the resurrection remix rom on the redmi note 7 pro and this is the android 10 version of the resurrection remix rom so i'm gonna do a jump straight from android 10 to 12 and here if you have not seen resurrection remix video i'll list a card over here you can check the resurrection remix rom for the redmi note 7 pro so right now let me just straight boot into the recovery because i already downloaded all the files and if you don't know how to flash the orange fox recovery you can again check out the card or you can see the description for that so here as you can see i'm using the latest r11.0 underscore one version of the orange fox recovery the first thing we are going to do is go to wipe and then select dalvi cache system vendor data and i'll just swipe to wipe them so right now let's just go to the download folder and here we have all the files that i have downloaded so as i have wiped everything already so first thing we are going to flash is the firmware that is this firmware violet as you can see 12.0.5 this is for redmi note 7 pro india and as you can see i'm going to flash this particular firmware then i will add to q then i'll add the pixel 5 rom like the android 12 actual rom file so i'll select that then add to q again then i'll select the fcrypt v3 so right now as my storage is already decrypted so maybe i should not worry about that much but if your storage is not decrypted make sure it's decrypted or you may have to format data here my storage is already decrypted that's why i'm not formatting data now i'll just swipe to install and as you can see i already have that reboot after installation is complete so right now it's just flashing the rom so let's wait for the time being so the flashing is done right now it's rebooting to system automatically because i had that option selected shows the google logo all right seems like it's booting and yeah it shows android beta program so i'll just click ok so no setup wizard here maybe i need to format data for that but yeah so i see a force close i'll just close that particular thing maybe i need to change some things over here so yeah the settings panel definitely looks like android 12 as you are noticing and it has this like bubble kind of thing over here as you're noticing whenever i'm scrolling like this just notice the animation over here and this is the android version section as you can see it shows android version s so let's just tap here still shows 11 for some reason that's how it is and we have the security patch as of now is may 5th 2021 and the kernel is like the pixel kernel over here and we have baseband version and stuff over here jumping into the system we do have a system updater so you can check for updates i guess but right now it says can't check for update in the gesture settings we have the back tap over here so this is for only pixels i guess and we have swipe for notification and stuff let me go back we have the quickly open camera too then we have the system navigation options so i'm gonna go with the full screen navigation and in the settings we only have the left right edge customization let me go back we have the one-handed mode so yes you can actually use it i guess and by the way this is how the recent panel looks like we have the screenshot option 
as you are noticing it's working fine and if you want to go to the split screen and stuff you can select here and we have the timeout for this one handed mode too but i'm not really sure how it works and we have the prevent ringing option let me go back we have the power menu option over here so hold for assistant and stuff is there default keyboard is of course gboard still here let's go into the battery settings so this is how the battery settings looks like we have the battery showing not charging and it shows the percentage over here okay so to see the full battery usage we just have to tap this view battery usage over here and it shows this kind of line over here and we have the battery percentage and everything option and as you are noticing right now the battery percentage did appear on the status bar and there is the adaptive preference and stuff then we have the battery saver also maybe the screen on time and stuff will show up over here on the bottom not really sure and we have the display settings so here we have the brightness level adaptive or auto brightness is there i'll just disable that for the time being then we have the lock screen option here we have the privacy so you can have this show all notification content don't show notification at all and stuff let me go back we have the dark theme again so let me just enable that and yes dark theme is actually working fine the background is like gray it's not completely dark or it's not amulet black with the dark theme now here we have the font size display size and the night light let's see if it works and yeah it is working colors over here are set to natural but i don't see any other options let me scroll down we have the increased touch sensitivity so i'm not sure how it will increase that but yeah <laughs> the option is there and we have the double tap to wake too so let's see if the double tap to wake actually works so yeah the double tap to wake is actually working here in the styles and wallpapers we have the theming option so we have these many fonts then we have the icons and then we have the accent colors as you are noticing and in terms of the wallpapers we have these come alive wallpapers then the living universe and stuff so yeah all of these live wallpapers are there here we have the pixel imprint so let's see okay so i would say this password entering or the pin entering kind of keypad over here is quite long as you are noticing so i'm gonna just tap next so let's see if it detects the fingerprint and yeah the fingerprint scanner is working super fine i guess and it's setting up fine so right now okay so there is no double tap to sleep and here I'm gonna just use the fingerprint scanner and see okay so the fingerprint scanner speed is fairly fast as you're noticing and yeah it's literally faster than some other ROMs I would say so yeah no issues with the fingerprint scanner let's try with this hands index finger and as you're noticing again it's unlocking flawlessly no issues with the fingerprint scanner here so let me show you the quick toggles panel right now and this is how it looks like we have couple more toggles like the screen recorder and stuff there is the device audio and microphone audio recording at the same time then we have the night light then the dump system heap and stuff nearby shared system ui gx disabled I'm not really sure what that does all right so with this toggle this system ui gx you can toggle this to the newer android 12 quick settings panel and yeah right now the whole ui has changed to the newer kind of android 12 one and you can edit and add multiple toggles like this and this is how it looks like over here let's see if the flashlight works and yeah the flashlight is actually working as you can see and we have the wi-fi and stuff and the brightness slider looks like this let me show you up close the first look of android 12 and we have the night light the screen record again and we have the extra dim feature so if you want really dim brightness over here you can use this extra dim feature and we also have the dark theme and in the dark theme this is how it looks pretty nice i would say and it definitely looks different from other custom roms now and yeah i'm not really sure how everyone will like this kind of quick toggles pretty much looks like the miui 12 4 quick toggles the new control center and stuff but yeah as you can see this is how the volume panel looks like and you can go to the like more kind of media panel over here the volume control but here as you can see you can increase or decrease the volume just like this this volume panel looks pretty cute in my opinion and yeah should work fine and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here all of these toggles do look really really beautiful let's see how the power menu looks so yeah the power menu simply looks pretty much similar to the android 11s but yeah by the way this is how the keyboard layout looks like by default over here it should be working fine and all the keys are a little bit longer as you're noticing so wi-fi is actually working fine i guess 
So yeah, right now it's actually letting me copy my data with my Google account like I do. So you have to just tap on this pixel setup that will do it over here and you have to just connect to Wi-Fi. So let's just continue. And there is no camera app pre-installed over here. You have to install them separately, I guess. Just gonna try this Nikita Gcam quickly to just see if the cameras are working over here. So yes, as you can see, the cameras are working. Let me just, okay, so yeah, the 2x zoom and stuff. Let's switch the front camera. Yes, the front camera is also working. So the cameras are actually working fine. No issues with that. You can take night side photos and something if you install a Gcam separately. Even taking videos should be fine over here. As you can see, we have up to 4K option. So yeah, 4K 30 FPS as well is working fine. And even with the front camera, yeah, the video should be working fine over here with the Gcam. This is the Nikita Gcam, by the way. Let me show you the lock screen right now. And yeah, we have the big kind of clock. Looks very beautiful as you can see. So yeah, you get all of these Android 12 features. Let me try the frame scanner now. And yeah, it's still working. And here we can install Magisk, I guess. The UI is not slow at all. It's quite fast actually. Considering this is a beta ROM. Of course, the Wi-Fi is totally working fine. No issues with that. Mobile data and stuff and 4G, Volti, etc. should be working fine here too because they are not listed in the box. So maybe, yeah, they should be working fine. And of course, we get the Pixel Launcher over here. As you can see, this is the version S of the Pixel Launcher as you are noticing. And we do have all of these overview, station and stuff disabling option. Comparing it with the Android 11, as you are noticing, this is how it looks like on Android 11. And this is how it looks like on Android 12. So yeah. And as far as I know, the widget section, yes, the widget section also has some changes. As you are noticing, the widget section looks like this on Android 12. And here in Android 11, it looks like this. So yeah, there are a lot of differences here and there. Everywhere you, in the UI, you see all of these animations as you're noticing. If you're an Android nerd, you are gonna pretty much love this over here. I'll do a complete review of this particular build. Maybe not with my primary SIM card, but with the benchmarks and stuff, everything else. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So that wraps this video pretty much. And that is how you flash Android 12 on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. If you want your friends to know about it, definitely share this video out with them. And thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one.